for this session are Ms. Hisa Oywa, Ms. Hati Rusli, and Andrea Pashon Flores. Our moderator for this session is Mr. Jose Maria T. Policarpio. Ms. Hisa Oywa is Deputy Editor-in-Chief of Publishing at PHP Institute. During her career with PHP, she has launched over 100 titles, including a book by top investor Jim Rogers, which has become a bestseller in Japan and translated in Korea, Taiwan, and Thailand. Ms. Hetty Rusley is lead editor of the fiction department at Gramedia. She is also the director of publishing and IP licensing at Rakata Studio. She's the initiator of the popular fiction subgenre in Indonesia Metropop and the creator of GWP. A digital, writing for, a digital writing platform for Indonesian writers. Overall, she has more than 20 years of experience in the publishing industry. Andrea Pashon Flores is the general manager of Anvil Publishing, a leading publisher in the country. Before that, she was a literary agent for Singapore-based literary agency Jacaranda. She was also a former executive director of the National Book Development Board. Mr. Jose Maria T. Policarpio, our moderator, is the country lead for Marshall Cavendish Education, Singapore. He is also the B VP for External Affairs of the Book Development Association of the Philippines. I would like to ask our speakers and our moderator to occupy the seats on the stage. And of course, our dear audience, please give them a round of applause. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for staying, you know. Um, we've heard a lot of uh, uh, discussions about the creative part and, uh, uh, and the other aspects of the industry. So this time around, what we will be learning from will be uh, experiences on how we can leverage partnerships not between publishers and other institutions. So the end goal being cost, effectiveness and efficiency in our operations. So uh, please hang on and we can learn a lot from these experts that we have this afternoon, right? So um, how do we do this? Um, who's the brave one who wants to speak first among the three of you beautiful ladies? Who wants to speak first? <laughs> uh, who's the first on the list? Is there a list? Is there an actual? All right, so um, let's all give a warm round of applause to Attorney Andrea Pashon Flores. Okay, good luck. I tried to be the last. Guys, can I borrow your clicker? Okay. Um, uh, I think the topic that was given was very geared towards a co-publishing we're in. Um, you you probably make a buy with a large print run of let's say the one who has the the originator publisher and then then you do that and bring your books remember economies of scale diba right? so that's the cheaper way with a large run making uh you go together you uh, you print with a large run and then you go to your market and you're able to give your market um, the price of a large run. Um, that's not exactly what I'm going to talk about today. <laughs> okay. So, um, as you can see, I just took the first part of the topic. It's developing partnerships with publishers and institutions because for us, um, I come from this publishing company called Anvil. We're primarily known for Filipiniana books and trade book. Trade books. We're a very commercial publisher, and we get into partnerships with other entities for many reasons aside from cost efficiency and productivity. <laughs> so I'll tell you about some of those today. Um, I, I prepared something pala to read. Sorry. Okay, um, so uh, if I don't read something, I kind of ramble, so I hope you don't mind. So Anvil has been around for many years, 30 years on, in February next year, in fact. But we still, do, we still need to work as hard as everybody else 
uh, to get our titles into both the local and international markets. Um, and we also try to penetrate other market segments that we're not necessarily uh, known for. So we are, um, we are also looking into other formats that perhaps we don't have the, uh, that might, may not be our core competency. That's why we may look for partners in who have that competency that we can tap uh, to be able to bring the reader or to the market the content they'd like to read and how they'd like to read it. Um, okay. Uh, so, like other publishers, we enter into partnerships who might be able to bring in their expertise to help us achieve the same or better results that we may not, we may not have been able, we may not be able to do ourselves if we were to do it alone. So there are other reasons we want to partner with other people, and I will give you um, uh, five. So the first reason, uh, one reason is to bring out quote-unquote important books uh, that which we might feel are necessary, but which may not have a large market demand. Um, so we know it's not going to sell. So it probably needs subsidies from organizations or institutions that might want to do the particular book for a particular reasons other than the commercial viability of the book. So I have a, this one. Um, it's, these three books are translations of European short stories translated into Filipino. The first book, Layag, is a uh, translation in Filipino of um, European stories and their classical European short stories. The second book, Agos, is more modern, uh, more contemporary short stories translated into Filipino. And then the third book, Haka, which will be, you're all invited, please come on November 24. Haka is a translation into Filipino of um, more specific short story European stories. So we knew all along that this is not quite a book that had that or will have a strong market, but we felt that it was important uh, enough to take on. So the UNIC, the UNIC is the EU National Institutes for Culture, which includes your EU people and then their their cultural organizations like the Instituto uh, Cervantes and all that. Um, they helped us come out with the book by subsidizing some of the costs you know, so that we can give you, we can give the readers um, the books at a very cheap price. So that's one reason why we go into that kind of partnership. The next reason is um, sometimes we'd like to support an advocacy. Uh, so to bring out a certain advocacy, we might do a book like this, which is a big book. A big book is, well, this one is not such a big book, but it's a big book. Do I make sense? 11 by 17 <laughs> inches. So if you look at us, it's sort of big. <laughs> OK. so. Uh, the other day, November 20, was the 30th anniversary of the Convention of the Rights of the Child. So, with the Department of Foreign Affairs and the Australian Embassy, we launched at the Ako Para Sabata International Convention at the SMX, the book Ayoko Po Sana. So, it's a, it's a book that explains a couple of particular rights in the Rights of the Child Convention of the UNICEF uh, that is administered by the UNICEF. And it is to be given to the Department of Education uh, to be given to select schools and their libraries. And it is very particular to moving forward the conventions of the rights of the child, the convention of the rights of the child. Okay, third reason why we might be in a partnership is to reach new markets. Um, Sometimes we want to reach new markets we don't have access to, so we go into co-publishing deals, not exactly what I was trying to explain in the first part. Um, but, 
Okay. So this one, we had a co-publishing agreement with uh, World Scientific, uh, which produces additional income streams for our authors. No? So, uh, so we, from us, they took three titles. On the left of Mindanao, that's the um, international edition. On the right the, of Mindanao, that's the local edition. On the left, the Building Inclusive Democracies in ASEAN, that's the international edition. On the right is the local edition and the large one because they didn't have enough time to do this because I sent them a large order in Malaysia, so they had to come out in a week. That is both our editions. That's our cover. So for these, we didn't have to exchange some money. What we did is we just, okay, let's exchange some titles at the end of the year. Let's see if we have some money. We have a little money. <laughs> Uh, from them, we took these, um, it's short biographies of world scientists. Uh, Nuri Vitachi is a, a New York Times writer and he put together, because he likes facts and trivia and all sorts of things like that, so he put together short bios of world-renowned scientists and this one on the left, that's the World Scientific uh, version. They come in little parang pamphlets and then they have a sleeve wherein you put everything, maybe 10 or 12 of these little things, 4, 8, 12, okay, 12, into that parang slip case. So that's their edition. Ours, okay, this one talaga, we had a dilemma. Ours, I go, isa lang yung Pinoy. We need more Filipinos. So we asked Nuri, can you look for more Filipinos, not just one? So he added three more Filipinos. So we, pu we published one and two. One is doing better than two, but uh, I wanted it in one volume and there was, a there was the limitation of price in this market, which is very price sensitive. I can tell you, if, you, if I remember, I can talk to you why we almost went into that co-publishing agreement that I was trying to explain earlier, but we are hindered all the time by the price sensitivity of this market. Okay. Uh -huh. So, when, aside from doing this, when we find that there are other... Re okay. When we find things outside, that might be appropriate for our market, uh, we try to pick it up to be able to bring it to the local audiences. So one of those that I really chased after is this one. On the right, you have, on, oh, sorry, when I kept going right, now I'm going like this, no? Mali, I can't tell. On the extreme left, okay. That is the edition of Torico uh, of Jose Rizal Manga. Uh, so I was chasing after this for more than a year, actually, no? because we couldn't find the creators. And then I just stumbled upon it when the Japan Foundation asked me to write a piece on publishing for their art magazine. So when I asked them, oh, can you get me in touch with Toriko? I want to talk to these two guys uh, to be able to get the rights for Jose Rizal manga. And so the left is a digital, which they only do digital. The one in the middle is, sorry. The one, hello, Ricky Lee. Hi. At the back, guys, say hello to Ricky Lee. Please watch Kulion in December. Okay, so the one in the middle is the English version of the manga. And... I just saw it in the office. It's going to be out before Christmas, I hope, is the Filipino edition. And we're doing very well with this. Very, 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 very well. Okay, so, which means, like Sandra said earlier, the Filipinos still love Rizal. And then you have it in manga form. Seriously, how can you go wrong, right? So, that one, a little bit like, but this one I had to pay for. There's no, can we exchange? No. This one, bile. Okay, and then the last. Last ba? Sorry. 
Okay, yeah, last. We want to enter new categories. Ito talaga yung sinabi ng NBDB. Ma'am, please talk about this. This. Uh, this. Anyway, I'm talking about Wattpad. Okay, so sometimes you partner with other people to be able to bring new categories uh, into our list. As you know, Wattpad, I think I've heard it in the past two days, Wattpad, 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 Wattpad. Okay. Anyway, the Philippines is one of Wattpad's largest markets who have shared 13 million story uploads on the platform. I think on the first day I heard that um, Nanny was reporting and she said, 43 million readers are on Wattpad. Is that correct? Or did I hear it wrong? Maybe I should take a look at my notes again. But it's really phenomenal. We're number two. Indonesia's number three. Number one, eh? On wa, you're what? I thought, are we number one? I, I heard I'm number two. The Philippines. And number one is the US. Number two, really? That's embarrassing. In Asia, in Asia, okay, but okay, in the world, we're number two. Number one is the U.S. That is still phenomenal. What's the market? Oh my God, 13. Up. The things that they like to read? Wow. Anyway, so hundreds of Wattpad stories have been turned into books, TV shows, and films. And here, they partnered with TV5 before, and they... From the stories uh, on Wattpad, the popular stories, they have put together 250 episodes, okay? Uh, so, when we got into the Wattpad thing, okay, so this is on their website. I took a screenshot of what they say they do. Um, they tell their readers or their writers, your voice belongs on bookshelves. And lo and behold, I didn't know what, oh my God, wow, the Anvil logo is up there next to Macmillan and Penguin. Wow. So, okay, I'll just take a snapshot of that. But, okay, this is how it works. Just recently, they've also done, they're not just a platform now, no? They're like a whole entertainment company. So, they've gotten into books themselves. In the U.S., you see these two books, QB Bad Boy. That's the number one Wattpad book, I think, in the entire world. And they didn't give it to anybody, though I'm sure the U.S. people, the U.S. publishers are dying to have it. Uh, if I were a writer now, I'd probably take a look at the fine print, you know, whether, um, anyway. Uh, so they have Wattpad books now, and it's distributed um, I think by Penguin in the U.S. and Macmillan in the rest of the world, but I could be wrong. could be Macmillan all throughout. Okay, so they are a, some kind of entertainment company, media, the vision is big. Okay, so how does it look like? Oh, okay, this is Alan Lau, whom we actually met. Uh, this young tech guy, he was actually an engineer. So this is what he said about the Filipino readers, what bad stories have captured the hearts of Filipinos and have spread beyond the app. Today, many of the most popular books, movies, and primetime television shows in the Philippines are based on what bad stories. When entertainment reflects a variety of interests and experiences, it can spread like wildfire. And you see this happen every day, on and off, what bad. It's phenomenal. And that's why whatever we think, some of us are, sh okay, sorry, okay, I should hurry up, okay. So, in our partnership, we put together a new imprint, Wattpad and Anvil gave birth, you know, like parents, to a baby called Bliss. And we've come up with um, books like these, and, you know, when June Matias was saying, it's evolved. When you read the stuff, it's evolved. It's like they delve into content that, that when I was like maybe 13 to 15, I would not have read. Anyway, this is horror. Horror. Okay, someone was missing a leg or an arm or something like that, but wow. Okay. And then, of course, you know, in the second floor of the MIBF, is Jeanette here? 
Tinet, you put us behind this Christian um, publisher, right? So I was going, oh my God, what will they do if we show our books? And the title is The Prince of Hell. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> They, they were going like this to us. But anyway, anyway, um, it's, it's entertainment. Okay, that's what it is. And it's doing okay. So, um, yeah. So, and I think you guys already heard that when on Wattpad, they're not just readers, they are fans. So, it's not, it's not because they they love not just the work but they love the author so you have to understand that they're like artista to the readers and it is possible to make an author a rock star okay so and i just wanted to show you how big what are oh, we have this too also what bad uh, wait isa i'm so proud of your work and that's she's doing that there the girl at the back Okay, and then these are the other Wattpad partnerships in the world, just to show you how big Wattpad is. No? Times Bridge is from India. Uh, Hawaii Brothers, that's Korea, I think. Um, Media Corp, that is Singapore. Hachette Romance, that's France. iFlix is the Netflix of Asia. Um, then I told you they have Wattpad Books, they have Wattpad Studios, and just recently they partnered with VIEW, V-I-U. It's like their new streaming thing that might be going up against, I don't know, all sorts of things like Netflix. Okay, I can't say this, it's, it's in French, La, Ga La Gardere or there's something. Okay, that's also like TV5. And then of course, Hachette Audio is doing it with Wattpad. So, that's it for my report please visit our website we have a sale thank you <laughs> all right so uh, thank you um attorney andrea so next up we have uh from gram media indonesia miss uh hetty rusli a warm round of applause please Thank you. Uh, Ms. Andrea, you told me about Wattpad, yeah, but you don't have an Indonesian version of Wattpad, even though we are number three. And Indonesia is, um, yeah, I'm going to tell you, yeah, of course, something about Wattpad, but for introduction, um, in Indonesia, uh, we don't use Wattpad logo because they created bad image of the, uh, some publishers, tend to publish Wattpad, you know, you don't edit Wattpad stories, is see, yeah, see, the, okay, yeah, yeah, so, if you don't edit the story, uh, it's going to be like, um, well, yeah, I don't know how to say it properly, but, yeah. and then, and they put the words like, uh, read by 80 millions in Wattpad, at, at first, but now they don't put uh, the Wattpad words anymore because they nobody wants to buy Wattpad. Oh, Wattpad, yeah, yeah. Here everyone's love it. That's why you don't have Indonesia Wattpad version. No, nobody wants to be. You know. Okay, no. <laughs> okay, it's ah, okay. This is an introduction about Compass Gramedia. Um, uh, earlier today, I stand here as a as a part of bookstore. Now I'm standing here as a part of publishers and IP and whatever whatever that company asked me to do. And <laughs> Compass Gramedia is uh, the largest media company. Now we have one uh, we have uh, eleven lines of business. Now we enter the uh, um, what. Uh, Distribution, distribution, expedition company, uh, starting from this year because we have now we have a lot of like Shopee and Lazada and all of that uh, online store. Uh, they also need the um, uh, distribution channel, the delivery man. 
Ah, uh, this is the publisher that I work. Uh, we publish general. We publish a lot of books, general publishing. Annually, we publish about 2,000 titles. 60% of which are translation. Most of the translation here are children's book. Uh, we have uh, Disney, and we're waiting for Frozen, which is going to be like hit. Everybody is already waiting for the new Frozen title, and. Uh, and then we also uh, since uh, especially since we are Indonesia become guest of honor in 2015 in Frankfurt Book Fair, uh, we actively sold uh, our copyrights uh, abroad. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story about three uh, things that happened in Indonesia. New era, new strategy. Okay, responsive to trend. Yeah, I haven't told you the story about the internet. Yeah, everybody, like, uh, you can see that if you come to Indonesia, you will see the... Uh, yeah, the, the same, I think the same here. Everybody's like, poop. <laughs> and it's, it's common in Indonesia uh, for a, a person have more than one phone. So it's like me, I have two. I have three actually. Uh, so as you can see here, this with 268 million, uh, the subscription of uh, mobile is 355. So uh, so a lot of people have more than one phone. And internet user, yeah, you can see um, now the digital life already part of everyday's life. Um, social media, Instagram, Facebook, change pe change how people. Um, uh, communicate with each other. So, this one, this is interesting. Um, 90 per, 90, 93% uh, people search online for their product. I, I, I forgot who said that. If you have to f uh, put your product online. If they search, they, they don't find it, they will uh, move to another book, another, another uh, product. This this they, 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 this is the reason why they will search your book online, and then it's about uh, I think book is in this category, toys and hobby, 1.4 billion a year uh, for e-commerce. Oh, okay, yeah, Shopee. Then from yesterday, everybody talking about Shopee. Shopee, this is Shopee number one, 1111. Who buys a lot of things from Shopee 1111? Raise your hand. Now, so this is we work together with Shopee uh, with discount like this uh, on August. This is we have uh, our uh, what is called uh, official store in Shopee. But in Indonesia, the number one is not Shopee, it's Tokopedia. Tokopedia is Indonesian uh, marketplace. Uh, our our biggest sale from e-commerce from uh, come from Tokopedia. So this one uh, because they have like free de delivery, discounted price, and cashback. If they give you cashback, 20 percent cashback, free delivery, and they like click your your item as fast as they can. Because it's limited time only, flash sale, like in Shopee. Uh, what else? Besides, uh, besides work together with um, uh, online marketplace, we also work together with, this is a lot of, uh, uh, there's a trend, uh, Instagram is number one, I think, in Indonesia, instead of Facebook. Facebook, it's for a mother and father who try to uh, pay, uh, keeping up with their children's what they're doing but their children is no longer in Facebook anymore but they don't know uh, yeah so it's like for middle age in Facebook so Instagram is number one now so this is Instagram store it's Tokopop it's Aikawa lot of store so we have to like this 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 uh, 1000 books sold in eight minutes in this store this book, uh, this is a translation from Korea, uh, Kim Ji Young born in 1982. Uh, the movie is going out this week, I think. I don't know how it is, is, is this K drama is popular here. But yeah, it is, this is a movie, the, uh, Gong Yu who will play the 
uh, yeah, if some of you know, this is this is already uh, pre-order for uh, I think about two weeks. The exact the the price is fifty eight thousand, but this store uh, have the initiative to to make a tote bag by themselves. So we gave the the store to um, create their own their own added value for the books, so they can sell the price higher than the usual than the than, than the original price. It's no problem with us as long they are still buying it from us. So as the publishers, we also like. Uh, they saw as many as they can, like 1,000 in eight minutes. Yes, let's reprint it again. And for Gramedia, we have a giveaway. Uh, we don't do the hard selling in Gramedia books. Uh, we just like, you know, let people know about uh, our books. So we, yeah, give, give, the giveaway is like, uh, everybody will, yeah, will like it and will recommend it and tag your friends and, yeah. And they will get a uh, free book. Uh, this is different from. I know what part is big. Sorry, I know what part is big, but we don't want to depend our our book uh, in the hands of what part. That's why I created this platform in 2016. 2016. Uh, this uh, GWP. Um, so we can create, this is the same, it's a similar platform like Wattpad. You can publish your story online and then you can, um, so I asked, I asked uh, earlier, I, uh, no, why I created this platform? I asked uh, Wattpad uh, writers why they want to write in Wattpad. They said they want to be a writer, they want to be a publish. So I created this. And everybody can post the story online, and the same like Wattpad. But the editors are looking the story here. But the problem is, uh, this is from 2016. 2016 now is uh, the, the the third year. But the problem uh, with this, uh, we don't have enough support from the from the, uh, our, our, our own publisher. So now, next year, we're going to be, we, we're going to change. So we have already published uh, about 32 books, sorry, 32 books, Gramedia. If you have good reads, you can see Gramedia Writing Project series, uh, 32 books already uh, being published. But next year, we're going to be bigger. This is, uh, so we, you, uh, uh, before we only uh, supported by this government, uh, Gramedia Pustaka Utama, now we are being supported by six uh, our sister's company. So not only one, but six, and being handled by this uh, Rekata Studio. Yeah, I'm also in Rekata Studio. I'm working like everywhere here. So, so I'm, uh, this is like becoming the agent. Uh, I'm in charge of this writing platform. Uh, we already, this is the story now, we have one t 11, 11,000 story, 29,000 20, members. I hope that we can get a lot more than, this is the published book stories, they already published the book, in the, you can find it in the bookstore. Um, oh, besides this, we also make a workshop. The class, uh, they, they have like this WhatsApp group. They keep like pinging, ping me all the time. See, <laughs> they are yeah. It's like 100 messages a day. They keep asking me. Let's <laughs> yeah. They they all making groups. And then every class, every class every year from the uh, 2016, we have uh, class 2016. Uh, Class 2017 and the community itself moved together. Uh, let's make our own T-shirt. Now they are asking me what color T-shirt that they that you want. Uh, where's the logo? Can we use the logo? Yes, you can. Yes, you can do the the alumni logo of GWP. So after you get chosen, then uh, uh, being published, they say they said they are they are the alumni of uh, GWP. So they have like some kind of pride. Uh, because it's like selected by the publisher. 
not only like everybody can write in Wattpad and a lot of publishing, uh, small publishing company in Indonesia publish Wattpad without editing. So being here is like making them like, huh, I'm this GWP. Uh, maybe you can try, uh, you know, making this platform. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> collaboration with movie. Um, movie is huge now in Indonesia. Uh, since 2016, we have new regulation. 2016 or 18, 2016, we have a new regulation that um, make the theater movie theater uh, can enter Indonesian market 100%. So it's like CGV from Korea, um, Lotte, and others can enter Indonesian market. So many uh, movie theater make uh, uh, movie business is growing. This is adaptation from books uh, since 2002, 2011, 2012. Sorry, this is this is all from our uh, our uh, publishing company. Um, this is the huge best sell, be, uh, box office, 2.4 million. Eh? Yes, 2.4 million. I'm sorry, the, the picture. This also the the last year box office one point something million, one point eight I think. Um, okay, this is the example. But we also not only adaptation from books to movie. Uh, usually after a book being public being uh, made into movie, the sales going up again. Like this, for example, like like this. This is a, a very uh, standard sales, but after the the movie, uh, wow, it's reprint like five times, and then they are going to make another movie after this, and we're waiting for that movie. I don't know. Yeah, you can add something, uh, editor's note or something, so it can be reprint. Not only books to movie, but we also this one is very popular. This is two blue stripe. Uh, it's about teen pregnancy teenage pregnancy um, so is it the same here at two blue stripe if you test pregnancy test two blue stripe uh, so it's the call to be dua garis biru in Indonesia two blue stripe it's very popular it's 1.7 million audience uh, in Indonesia so we made a book out if out of the script list this is selling very well in Indonesia it's about 20,000 copies so besides besides work together as uh, uh, with uh, books to movie we also uh, creating books uh, books from movie so this is the the collaboration that we do in Indonesia so thank you very much if you have any question please Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Hetty. Uh, and uh, on Hisa, how do you pronounce her? Oiwa. A round of applause for her, please. Hello, everyone. I am Hisa Oiwa at PHP Institute. First, I'd like to introduce my company. I apologize for participants who were in session nine. They already know about that. But anyway, uh, PHP Institute was founded in 1946 by Konosuke Matsushita, who is the founder of Panasonic. We publish 500 titles annually covering various topics, and also seven titles monthly as magazines. Next, let me introduce myself. I started my career with PHP in 2008, and since 2014, I have uh, been editing books about economics, politics, self-help, business, and so on. So this is my works. Um, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, how can I say this? Oh. Okay. 
so this is one of um, my work. Then, oh, yes, this. So let's move on to the main topic. Uh, first, I'd like to talk about domestic partnerships. So we have several kinds of domestic partnership. I will talk about win-win partnership with web media companies because this partnership costs anything and yet its effect is big. We have partnerships with more than 20 web media providers which help our book promotion. Next. Let me talk about how this partnership works. We make articles from short book extracts after getting permission from authors and ask web media providers to carry it. For publishers, it can be a good promotion of a book. Readers of the article are likely to become readers of the book. In most cases, we ask web media providers to link to Amazon so readers can buy the book if they are interested in the article. It cut the costs for advertising the book, of course. So for web media providers, it helps them to acquire more content and page views. In addition, the article doesn't cost anything. Publishers make the article from the book, so actually it is free. Now I will talk about an example of an article. This article consists entirely of extracts from a book about how to be a person of action written by famous former politician in Osaka. In the article introduction, we put an explanation saying this article consists of extracts of a book titled How to be a Person of Action and a link to the book. Then, on the next page, we also put the cover image and URL. This is an effective way for readers to become aware of the book. I made 10 articles from the book, and three web media providers carried them. Most of them is web media about business and self-help. Thus, lots of readers of those web media become interested in the book. This book has sold 150,000 copies, so this web promotion helped a lot. Now, let me talk about international partnerships. We have over 500 partnerships with rights agents and foreign publishers. Our books have been translated in mainly Asian countries such as China, Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam, and so on. And these are our new challenge. We have been trying to make foreign authors book originally made by PHP. We have published these books. A book far left is, an in is by Jim Rogers, who is known as the world top three investor. And the book, Second from Left, is an interview anthology of Yuval Noah Harari and Professor Jared Diamond, and so on. And the book, Second from Right, is another anthology of Thomas Friedman and Paul Krugman, and so on. Paul Krugman is a Nobel Prize economist and famous columnist of the New York Times. Recently, we just published a daily calendar every day with Pope Francis, 31 day words with support you, which support you of Pope Francisco with help of Vatican Embassy. Next, please let me talk about a successful case, a book by Jim Rogers. Normally, the Exportation of publishing rights is from domestic to international. A Japanese publisher exports a Japanese author's book to other countries. 
But as I mentioned, we are now trying to make international author's book. Because most Japanese non-fiction authors haven't been famous yet in Asian countries, thus we are doing cross-border editing, making international authors' books and expecting to export publishing rights. This book is an example of us trying this. I interviewed Mr. Rogers in Singapore with Japanese journalist for selling worldwide I settled the theme of the book about which country is the happiest in Asian country in the next five years, and asked him about forecast of economy in Asia. A Japanese version was launched this January. It's already been published in Korea. Local language versions are now printing in China, Taiwan, and Thailand. This book became a bestseller in Japan. Domestic partnerships help a lot as well to promote a book. Let's talk about the approach we took. When I interviewed Mr. Rogers, I did a photo shoot for web media in advance. After the book was published, I asked several web media providers if they are interested in this content. I made over 15 uh, excerpt articles from this book. Five popular web sites launched a series of articles. So here are the results. We made many readers aware of this book through web media. One article by Toyo Keizai Online was shared on Facebook over 3,000 times. Another by Forbes Japan got over 100,000 hits. The most successful one is an article by Diamond Online. It acquired 1.5 million hits. The article by Diamond Online was launched the same day when Mr. Rogers appeared on TV. Then the book ranked number one on Amazon book ranking. It has sold 160,000 copies in Japan, and it is ranked sixth bestseller economic, economic book of the first half 2019. With regards of international sales, 40,000 copies already sold in Korea, total 200,000 copies in the world. We are expecting more in other countries. And now I am editing three books with this framework. First is by a German philosopher. Second is by French demographer. Third is by American writer. I already interviewed them, so they will be published next year, one by one. So this is conclusion that I learned. First, the market is everywhere in the world. Of course, you know that, but <laughs> as I mentioned, selling rights of nonfiction from Japan was considered as difficult. Of course, these were certain titles we have exported abroad, but it was not really big. Different way of editing, I mentioned, brought us another chance and widened the market. Second, be open and share your content with the, app, with the web. Web media is sometimes seen as a competitor against books, but I would like to say it is not. The most important thing is to have more access point for readers to be aware of the book, especially since people go to bookstore less and less these days. The media can be a strong partner for selling book. Third, drink and socialize. Often partnership starts with personal friendship. In my case, partnership with several web media providers starts with my friendship with editors. For one of our international partnerships, my Taiwanese editor friend introduced my book to a publisher from Thailand. So let's go out and leave our laptop. 
meeting is always a chance for another partnership. And I hope I have one in this book industry summit. So thank you. Salama Paul. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Hisa Aiwa. Okay, so um, we've heard the, the sharings of the three experts that we have for, for this afternoon. We're now open for questions, uh, if there's any. Well, maybe to jumpstart the conversation. Um, it's apparent that the collaboration between the content creators and the other institutions are mainly on uh, the different media channels, no? especially uh, the web, right? So um, if that's the main direction right now, um, any one of you should, uh, would care to, sh uh, to you know, share their major successes uh, in this uh, particular collaboration? Uh, Anyone, anyone, think. Bragging rights, bragging rights in terms of, you know, collaboration uh, for content and uh, social media platform. While you're thinking, let me just say this. I uh, totally agree to the recommendation of Miss Iowa on the, her third recommendation, which is to drink and to socialize. <laughs> don't, don't we all agree to that, right? Uh, let's give her a warm round of applause. Come on, guys. She deserves that, right? Okay, drink and socialize. I like that. So are we good, um, uh, Miss uh, Iowa? Uh, what's your most successful collaboration between uh, your content and the uh, social media platform? Please. Uh, actually, I shared our experience in session nine already. Um, our most successful case was with Twitter. Yes. <laughs> we have a short novel story uh, titled as short story with 54 characters. And we presented a new award for that for users to make their own story with 54 characters and upload this on Twitter. So it went viral so much, like um, 80,000 likes and 4,000 retweets, something like that. Then it became like trend. So TV news, um, TV news said about that and several web media interviewed the authors and it became like 206,000, oh, two, sorry, uh, 260,000 already now for series, like five titles we already published. It was the most successful case because for Twitter, users can post by themselves and it viral like by itself. So it was very good for that kind of short story. Uh, successful story. Um, oh, this is now a uh, bragging rights, right? Okay. Um, the uh, we hope yeah, we hope that GWP is going to be huge in next year because um, actually it's um, our own platform. So uh, and we want to take it further than only we want to now we are uh, the not only not only a flat platform we also uh, cooperate with a uh, major production house so they can pick the story from our platform and then we have yeah we will now we're not yet uh, but next year is going to be a competition um, uh, usually competition will bring a lot of new author and then yeah um, what else yeah we want to beat what but that's <laughs> I'm not angry but yeah we want to beat what but actually yeah uh, hmm can think of Andrew going viral really <laughs> uh, okay um, 
Well, well, I think what we're seeing now is sort of a reverse. Like, um, I don't know how you know, with other publishers if how your meetings go, but uh, there are questions about how many li how many followers does the author have on the platform. That's increasingly becoming uh, an important factor to whether a book gets out there in the market or not. Um, and for example, um, maybe the author is famous first before he gets a book. Um, I think authors have to realize now that uh, you don't start, and I hate the word, your brand <laughs> with a book. Perhaps the book amplifies what you're already doing, but, um, and I, Maybe the example I can give is Francis Kong. Francis Kong's book with us, Only the Real Matters. Um, the truth about work life and per and our worth. See, I see the editor was over there, so I was asking her. <laughs> so um, we knew that uh, we knew that Francis Kong would be able to sell a lot of books because he's on social media. He has regular speaking engagements. You'd be lucky if you ask him a year before to make seeing it, uh, to ask him to speak in your, in your venue. He gets asked all over the world to speak. So we knew that Francis Kong was big and we wanted a book of Francis Kong. In the reverse, how about the reverse? Viral but but not viral. Can I give an example? Okay, so we did a translation of this comic book called The Fruit of Knowledge, which is a Swedish book on um, the feminist discourse on the vagina or something like that, right? So it's like um, tracing the history of why there seems to be uh, that uh, talking about femininity or the female body seems to be very difficult in all of our societies, right? So it's a history from then and now involving Kellogg, Freud, etc. Our translator gave us a really wonderful title. It's called Puki Usap. Okay, so, and then what happened was, so the book was out, but in the stores, apparently the salespeople didn't want to display it because I guess it was uncomfortable. And we thought, oh my God, these are the very people who must read these bo this book, right? So if you wanted a book, you had to be brave. You had to go to the, to the cashier and the cashier would dig it up <laughs> from the back because it was hidden, you know, from the back. And so we were really worried that it wasn't going to do well despite it being um, humorous and a comic and daring, right? And of course, our very good art director really did a great job on the book cover that I had to revise <laughs> on the second printing. Second printing. We went into second printing because it became an Easter egg hunt. Um, Apparently, there was a lot of buzz. It became an organic buzz. People started writing about it. Uh, and the customers um, started discovering that there was a sort of banned book in National Bookstore. That, um, so that, that, I don't know if that's viral, but, um, Apparently, being being banned <laughs> became good. Um, I actually had to explain to the salespeople what the book was about. I had to write a memo to be given to the branches to tell them what the book was about. In one literary festival, I asked a translator to talk, and I asked the branch managers to sit in the talk. So just to keep, you know, just to educate that maybe it's not, it's not the kind of book you thought it was. So that was maybe reverse. Okay. 
All right, thank you. Those are, well, uh, insights, no? But uh, as a parting word, as a conclusion, um, the experience of Indonesia is kind of, uh, in a way, um, different because you have enough money and investment to develop your own platform. See? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's an advantage. But uh, more importantly, your management realized the importance of having a different channel so much that, you know, they were willing to invest in it, right? So I guess uh, what we can take away from this learning session is that, number one, it's still, our main line is still in content creation, right? It, it's, it's the creative juices that pushes us forward. Now we have different channels, media channels. We have print, we have social media, we have Twitter, we have all of these things. But at the core of this is uh, content creation. So if we were to you know, think about our, of what, what we're doing, we should still focus on what we do best which is to create quality and wonderful content, regardless of the noise that we hear outside. So it's the content that will drive and propel us forward. So I guess that's what we've learned uh, for this uh, learning session. Thank you so much for listening and to our uh, panel of uh, experts. Uh, please, again, give them a warm round of applause. Thank you so much. Uh, someone's supposed to be up here and introduce and do things and uh, and instruct everyone to do what, what we have to do next. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on.